Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chase, AKA That Gay Jedi, and welcome to another video. Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's very nice to have you here. Um, if you haven't already clicked subscribe, I encourage you to do so because we like to vibe here, right? The vibe is to vibe, right? The vibe is to vibe, so subscribe. Girl, I just made that up. <laughs> I really did. I'm so excited to be back. Uh, happy Pride Month, everyone. I've missed you all. It's it's. I've missed making videos. I'm excited to be back doing it. I was busy a few weeks ago at Star Wars Celebration, and I've taken a couple little like weekend trips to start the to start summer. So I hope your summer is starting off great. I hope your Pride Month is going great. Shout out to all my fellow LGBTQIA sisters and brothers and siblings in general. Like I said, I'm very happy to be back making videos. I've missed it a lot. I've got some really good ones on the way. Um, I'm excited to say I have this one coming out. I have an Obi-Wan Kenobi season finale reaction coming out on Wednesday. And then I'm going to be doing a season four Stranger Things review before the two part finale drops on July 1. Going to be doing a Thor Love and Thunder review, which is going to be great. Going to be ranking my favorite needle drops in Stranger Things. And Yes, Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush will be on that list. Anyways, um, welcome back to another installment of Seems Gay, where I take quick, playful looks at elements and characters in the Star Wars universe that can be viewed as gay from a certain point of view. And today's characters I am so excited to do because they have been actually some of my most requested characters to be talked about on the channel in terms of their apparent queerness in Star Wars. So you may know them as Guardians of the Wills. You may know them as just two little lovebirds from frolicking around Rogue One. But yes, we are here to talk about Chiru and Baze, and I could not be more excited. Of course, as a disclaimer, you know, people can share deep levels of intimacy, especially men, without it being gay. But that being said, Chiru and Baze, they seem kind of gay. Okay, so first and foremost, we have to lead with this. I went to Google Trudem Bays and... I mean, just Google it, y'all. Google it and tell me what comes up in your suggested search. Because I searched this on a browser I don't use, and I did it on a private tab, and I typed in Chiru and Bayes, and look what the result was. Look at the first suggested search. I'm just saying. If it's that far up on the search bar, kind of thinking it, kind of thinking it's canon. Number two, I just have to like emphasize the fact that these characters, when they're introduced, are not introduced as like individual characters. Even when Jen meets Chiru, you just see Baze in the background hanging out and kind of like watching over Chiru because that's what he loves to do. He loves to watch out for his little husband. Anyways, I just think it's very powerful that they are introduced and carried throughout the film and also the book Guardians of the Wills, which I will be talking about. They're introduced as a dynamic duo, as an inseparable duo, and as like a very dependable partnership. So immediately the boyfriend husband alarm is, it's ringing and it's ringing loud. Okay, so next I have to just highlight the fact that like they're the, the levels of sass and wit and flair in the way that they carry themselves individually and in the way they treat each other is definitely like queer couple vibes. Like while Chiru is kicking the stormtrooper's butt, he really takes the time to ask if his foot's all right. And, um, you know, I just don't know if a straight person would be that shady while kicking butt. Like happy pride, you know, Chiru said happy pride. <laughs> And also, like, in their first fight scene introduction, you can really tell how much pride Baze has in, like, taking care of and fighting for and defending Chiru, which I think is just a really, really beautiful display of love. What kind of love? Open for interpretation. For me, it's gay. But yes, he just has a lot of pride in protecting and defending Chiru, and I just think that's really cute and couple goals. And also there's just like so much teasing between the two of them and neither of them ever get like irritated, actually irritated with each other. In fact, it's like almost the opposite. You can tell that like all that teasing comes from a place of love and actually like makes the other one giddy, dare I say? Like I think that's a shared love language that they have is just teasing each other, which again, queer couple vibes. For example, there's this moment. You almost shot me. You're welcome. He said you're welcome. Also, later in Rogue One, when Baze and True are locked in a cell together, and Baze is giving True a hard time for praying for a way out, True dishes it right back to Baze, and Baze like actually has like a moment of genuine laughter. Like he thinks it's like, I don't know. There's just something in the way he laughs at like the the the, the bickering that you can tell brings him a lot of joy. I want the force. He's praying for the door to open. It bothers him because he knows it's possible. 
There's also like so many moments in Guardians of the Wills. I read the manga adaptation of Guardians of the Wills and there's a lot of moments in there, let me tell you. For example, True uses Baze's full name as he does in the movie and I just have to say, I only do that for one person in my life and that is my partner. You also have them like flirtingly teasing each other about walking home without each other because like it's such an unheard of concept for them to have time separate from each other. So like... <laughs> It's pretty cute. And you also have Baze panicking about the dinner he cooked for Chiru and if he overcooked the noodles. So like not only did he cook Chiru his dinner, but he's also like worried that it's not going to be like yummy enough for Chiru. And that's so sweet. There is also this line in Rogue One. Where are you going? I'm going to follow Jin. Her path is clear. Alone? Good luck. I don't need luck. I have you. Are you serious? Girl. The romance, the romance. This is like probably one of the most romantic lines I've ever seen in any movie, let alone a Star Wars movie. Like there's I love you, I know from Star Wars, and then it's I don't need luck, I have you. It's too cute, it's too cute. And um, a little bit on a sadder note, but no less romantic, you have their final moments together in Rogue One. After True successfully flips the master comm switch on Scarif, Baze doesn't just like tell him to get to safety. He fully begs him to come with him. Zero, come, come with me. Again, not just saying like, oh, come back or come over here, you're in danger. He's begging him to come with him. He's saying, come with me. I can't. Then, as True is dying, Baze runs over to him and holds him in his arms. And perhaps most significantly, he starts to pray for seemingly the first time in a very, very long time. And considering that True told Baze that he will always find him in the Force, this moment carries like extra meaning for me. Because almost immediately after True passes away, Baze starts repeating to himself, I am one with the Force and the Force is with me. Yes, connecting himself with the will of the Force, but also finding a way to remain close to his partner who has just passed away. Finally, as Baze realizes that he too is about to die, he makes the conscious decision to like have his last moment be looking back at his partner. And if you look ever so slightly, there's like a, there's like a little smile. And I think to me, it's like Baze is smiling because he knows he's about to be reunited with Chiru through the forest. And I think he was separated with him for a moment too long. Even though it's a couple seconds, he's like, I get to be back with my baby boy Chiru through the forest. And I can't really talk about it anymore because I'll, I'll start crying. So that's that. <sighs> Anyways, I just love them so much. And those are some reasons why, to me, they seem very, very gay. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do they seem perhaps more of a romantic couple now that you've watched this video? Are there other Star Wars characters that you feel are gay, but not maybe explicitly so? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll make a little video on them. And I mean, more than anything, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because I do put out lots of fun, queer and nerdy content and we like to vibe, right? Subscribe and vibe. <laughs> Anyways, again, happy Pride season to all of my queer siblings out there. And thank you to the allies who support the queer community because we really do benefit from allyship. And so shout out to the allies as well. Thank you all so much for watching. It really means the world. And gay the force be with you always.